Hi, everyone. I'll just uh, start off by saying um, I'm sure everyone have, have saw the video I posted on Friday. Um, um, to be honest, I posted the video. Um, that was a, a, a dark time in my, my life. Did nobody really know. Um, but I posted it because I wanted to encourage others to seek help whenever they are, they are, they are down. Um, I didn't know, really, really didn't take in consideration what depression really was. I always just brushed it off. Uh, that's how I, I grew up. I grew up. Um, I just brushed off my feelings and, uh, and, uh, it got the best of me, you know, and I just wanted to put out a positive message that, uh, that I'm still here. I'm still, I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm, I'm blessed. Um, I got a lot of things to be grateful for. And, uh, someone was there for me. So, um, reach out to your loved ones and ask them how they're doing and, and listen to them, you know, cause it's important, you know? So, uh, Widely positive. Were you were you pleased by that? Uh, yeah. A, a lot of guys, a lot of guys reached out to me, um, told me what I did was powerful. Um, a lot of guys on my team um, t sat down, talked to me one on one about their struggles, which which we need to do more often. You know, we need to we need to look out for one another. You know, I know we play this beautiful game, but you know, life is beautiful too. So, putting out that message. Second of all, um. Sorry. It's okay. Um, just what made you kind of come out and want to talk about that? I'm so sorry. You're fine. You're fine. It's okay. Uh, like I said, it was a, a dark moment, and it was a year ago uh, where I had thought about, you know, taking my life, you know. Um, and it was it was special to me because um, it just came with my heart that I wanted to share with others and help others as much as I can. Like I said, I'm here. I'm so much to be grateful for. I'm blessed. Um, I know I wake up every day and get to play the game that I love, but you know I have loved ones around me that love me dearly. You know, and um, I just wanted to help someone. Hopefully, I could save a life or anything. So, too personal. Understand if it's too personal, but uh, what prompted you to feel that way? Um, I won't get into all that. You know, that's that's between me. Um, but uh. Yeah. that you talked about was there for you? Was it a teammate? Was it a family member? Maybe who helped you get through it? Uh, <laughs> um, it was a uh, Elijah Moore. Uh, yeah, it was Elijah Moore. That's he's he's more than family. He's more than family. Uh, I love him like he's my brother. I, he is my bro my brother, but um, he's a special special person, and uh, I appreciate him each and every day. How important is it for somebody in your position, like you said, to come out and, and speak out about it? Because a lot of people from the outside will say, you know, you're an NFL football player, exactly. you're a pro bowler, you make a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, you have a lot of notoriety. What could you possibly be down about, right? Yeah, um, life happens to everyone. You know, I'm human, just like everyone else. Just because I, I play this beautiful game, uh, just doesn't mean life is not going to happen to me, too. Uh, so, like, I'm grateful for the, the person that was there for me. Uh, and um, I just wanted to encourage everyone to seek help if you if you're down and you're depressed, and just try to get help. Good example, AJ, though, of, of like John was saying, you on the outside, mm -hmm. you know, everything looks like it's it's great for AJ, but people just don't know, right? What what's going on inside somebody? Yeah, most definitely, man. Some uh, I know for me, uh, walking around with a smile, that's that's easy to put on. Everybody can do it, you know. But you know, when we go on. We some of us have real life problems. You know, um, so you just how you deal with those things. And that's why I said just talk to someone, reach out. You know, us as men, you know, to be honest, our, our feelings are, aren't too much cared about, you know. So um, especially men, just, you know, get things off your chest. You know, um, it's okay to talk to talk to someone, seek help. You're not too tough to, to talk to someone, you know, so. To have a coach like Mike Rabel who makes those emotional deposits with you guys, you know, and, and is open to, to conversation and to things like this? Um, it means a lot. It means a lot. Uh, I appreciate uh, Coach Bray just for everything. Um, I, tr I just try not to – I try not to um, – You know, sometimes I know this is a business, and, and sometimes you don't want to get emotionally attached or tied with someone, you know, because it's a, it's a business side of it. But, man, I appreciate him so much. Um, and, and people like that, 
I think no matter however this business may go, I think um, forever I'll be a friend of his and he'll be a friend of mine, you know. Um, but I appreciate him so much for just opening this door, just listening, trying to help me as much as I can. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed with me. So uh, he's definitely family in my book, uh, regardless of if we have a part ways down the line, I ho which I, ho I hope not, but, you know, but I appreciate him so much. Front that that darkness from time to time, or you've been been pretty good for the last year. No, I'm 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 in a better place mentally. Uh, I'm that was that's behind me, that's behind me now. Um, I know how to deal with certain things if something comes up in my life now. Um, like I said, growing up, I just kind of brushed off my feelings and you know I buried them. And uh, you know you you don't need to do that. You know you need to get things off your chest and talk to someone. You know. You had mentioned uh, Elijah Moore was the one who had kind of helped you in that particularly uh, dark moment. I guess what has kind of made you guys so close beyond the fact that you guys were, were teammates at Ole Miss? Why, why is he kind of like more than a, like a brother to you? Um, um, I live with him. Um, he's seen my struggles. I've seen his struggles. You know, I, I know what he wanted to accomplish. He knows what I want to accomplish, you know, in life, period. You know, uh, this is this is not just football talk. This is life talk. You know, so uh, just being around him so much, you know, uh, you start to <laughs> to a point where I feel like I kind of kind of raised him in, in a point. You know, in college, you know, I seen him grow, seen him do all the things he want to do, and um, just being there for one another. You know, so. How many times did you think you did you maybe? Think about posting that video, and, and maybe what was what was that kind of got you to the point to be maybe brave enough to do it. Uh, I thought long, long and hard about posting the video. Uh, um, it was on my phone for a while. I actually recorded the video earlier that day, uh, but I didn't post it until later that night. So um, it was it was an all day process, and I was kind of nervous to to post it. But you know, uh, some gave me the courage, some came over me to to just do it. So. I know you've been very open about your relationship with your little girl mm -hmm. on social media and how much she's meant to you. Mm -hmm. How how much has she been in your life? How much does she kind of push you to kind of keep going and to be strong for her? Um, my little girl, man, she's amazing. Um, um, it's the it's the reason why I'm still going today. Um, um, I don't even have the words for it. I don't know. She she gives me strength. She is who I play for. Um, so. Um, without without my little my little girl, I don't know where I'd be. So was was it a year exactly? Uh, I'm trying to remember to the to the date that you know that you had thought about. You know, as you said, you had contemplated you know taking your life. Was that yes? A, it was uh, November 12th. Okay. Did you? I mean, I, and again, whatever's private is private. But I mean, did you feel like you were you were you were right there on the on the edge or or? You know? Um, I won't get too much into detail about it, but. Uh, um, it just, it was heavy on my heart, so. You touched on it a little bit, but how important is it, your message and you coming out mm -hmm. to try and fight that negative stigma that surrounds mental health? Right. Uh, I just wanted to come out and, and just try to just put that to rest. You know, uh, mental health is real, um, just like physical health. You know, you take care of your body when you're sick, just like. When something's going on with you, you need to get stuff off your chest. You need to talk to someone, seek professional help if it needs so. Um, but uh, you got to take care of your brain just like you take care of your body too, you know. So find ways to uh, a safe safe place for you. Um, do the things you love, you know, you know. So enjoy every moment. Hey, AJ, in addition to Elijah, did you talk to a professional to, to get further help? Yes, I did. I, I, I did out there. Uh, I still do to this day. So. How much of... Uh, Football-wise, how much of, of what's gone on for you the last two weeks was about the Ramsey and the Lattimore matchups? Do you think? Uh, what about it? In that, in that your, your production. Um, you know, I, I I I try to control what I can control. You know, I, I can't uh, throw myself the ball or anything like that. Whatever I can do is I can just get open. You know, and if I if I have to clear it out for someone else, like Marcus had a big day uh, this past Sunday, I'll do it again. You know, so uh, it's it's all about trying to get to nine and two. You know, one week at a time. That's the only thing I I care about. You know, uh, that's the production winning. So, have you seen differences in defense the last couple of weeks? You know, with with Derek being out, AJ, have you seen that much more? Um, not these two past weeks. 
Um, because uh, they had Jalen Ramsey and, and Lattimore. You know, those guys matched up on me. So, um, but you definitely know uh, I get a lot more eyes and, you know, point me out and 